The case against former Theranos CEO Elizabeth Holmes now entering a second week of deliberation. She's, of course, facing 11 counts of fraud. If convicted, she could face up to 20 years in federal prison. And here to talk more about where that case stands is Yahoo Finance's Alexis Keenan, who joins us on the phone. She's been out there covering that case for us. And Alexis, you know, some say the longer these things take, the more nervous the defense gets. I mean, what's your estimation of how things are going so far? Yeah, so actually, um, I would say it's a little bit more the other way around. Oftentimes, the longer a jury takes in a case like this, the maybe in better things are improving for the defense, the jury not knowing which way they want to go, perhaps here and struggling a bit. But this is day four of deliberations that uh, ended on Thursday with no verdict. There was a court holiday on Friday and the jurors were off for the holiday weekend. Now, deliberations should just be getting started if they haven't already. I keep refreshing my email looking for that to decide the fate of Silicon Valley blood testing founder, uh, Elizabeth Holmes. Now, just before the jury broke on Thursday came a second question from the jury. And what that does is it gives us a little bit of a glimpse into the jury's focus and what could end up being very critical evidence in the case. Now, the jury asked to rehear audio re an audio recording that was from 2013. And this is a recording of Holmes pitching a group of investors shortly after her company launched its blood testing services in its retail locations in Walgreens. So we have a clip of that, a part of that call so let's take a listen to what jurors heard played in court when i started the company we knew that it would take us a long time to be able to establish an infrastructure that could uh, do any lab test that is run in a traditional lab from a micro sample or these tiny droplets that we take uh, now from the finger and we thus built the business around our partnerships with pharmaceutical companies and our contracts with the military, uh, wherein we could deploy our framework. Now asked if there was a military aspect again on the call that Theranos was to pursue, Holmes told investors, quote, the military is a big deal for us. So prosecutors say that Holmes really went too far here, overselling Theranos' relationships with not only the military, but with also pharmaceutical companies. Multiple investors did testify that Theranos told them its devices were being used in the military, including onboard military aircraft. Uh, prosecutors say that Holmes lied to investors about the extent of those relationships. Now, in total, as you said, she's facing 11 charges, nine federal wire fraud charges, and two federal conspiracy charges. Maximum prison sentence here, 20 years in, in prison, plus tremendous amount of fines uh, going all the way up to $2.75 million if she were found guilty on all charges. We certainly will let you know here if there is a verdict and if there is any update in the case. Zach?